<laughs> I'm not tired. You're tired. Alrighty. Hello. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, oh, I accidentally closed out of a. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> I've been recording. No. Oh no. Oh, that's that's whole five minutes of just me staring at the screen or just on this. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to the Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo has five mission with Gunner here, taking the lead storm as my primary and the first fire gun as my secondary. Before I get into how I have the guns built, if YouTube's recommending my content to you, you like what I make, maybe consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, and I'd like to have you along for the ride. How I have the guns built here is on the lead storm, I'm taking, well, ironically, the lead storm unstable overclock. Basically what this does is it gives you a huge increase in the damage, but at the downsides, you can't move while shooting the gun, and there's a huge penalty to the stun. So I mean, it the stun isn't really that bad because the trade-off is here is that you just you kill the bugs with the huge amount of damage. Uh, so I mean, anything that you shoot at will probably be dead anyways before you stun it, besides maybe the big things. But the huge the biggest thing is this moving while not being or can't move while shooting. But you can kind of like B hop with this, with how I have it built here, which is faster fire rate, more damage, more uh, heart armor breaking, lighter barrel assembly, so you can start shooting the barrel, or you can start yeah shooting faster, and hot bullets. So at a certain point, uh, with the heat generated from this, I can start my my bullets will be on fire. For the secondary, I'm gonna be taking lead spray, which this this unstable overclock is pretty straightforward it just gives you a huge increase in damage and at the cost of an, a big like a really increased uh base spread i mean i don't i don't already like like the burst rifle too much um it's really good at single target with uh single target damage but i mean uh the lead spray feels like too much as someone who really enjoys using um like really high damaging guns um I'd say the lead spray is kind of only useful at elimination missions or against like just Praetorians and oppressors, really. How I have it built here is I'm taking even more damage, uh, faster reload speed, more magazine size, more total ammo, and stun. All right, for my grenade, I'm taking the sticky grenade. My zip lines are built for range. My shields have faster recharge. My Bosco is all revised car grenades and electric bullets. We're gonna take this thing on, a, on an elimination for anyone. To anyone's surprise, and Slayer's out. We're gonna take that too. <laughs> I have used lead spray before too, and I mean, like I used it when I was way back when I first started. I used it on like normal missions and stuff, and it can be good. Like let's say a warden is is like all the way over there, and you get up to him like really close, you can just like basically kill him immediately. But I mean, I don't know. I I found myself using the primary more than using the secondary when I brought lead spray and then I would run out of ammo in the primary and then I would just be left with lead spray and I would be trying to kill just the normal grunts and I would be just wasting a bunch of ammo so I mean I don't know I have also used lead storm in a previous video I think when I was using the mole I used lead storm against the dreadnoughts as well that was really really fun too hmm <laughs> I really like looking at Rival Tech, the weapon frame. I think between Meal Spec and Rival Tech, um, I don't know. I like Meal Spec for its simplicity, but like with Rival Tech, it's just like way over the top with like futuristic parts. So I mean, I don't know. I think in order it goes Meal Spec, Rival Tech, and then Neon Ban, which is what I have on the the uh, burst rifle. Alrighty. Oh, more Nitra. Let's go. All right. Now I can waste my ammo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all these bugs. <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of those web spitters. Not me. <laughs> oh, Steve. Hello, Steve. <laughs> I guess we can fight it in here. Why not? This isn't too bad of an arena. Hello. Oh. What? There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Whoop. Oh, you actually hit me with that. Huh. Surprised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello, boy. Steve. Steve. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> what? What? What were you even aiming at? <laughs> ah, poor Dreadnought. Normally you're so much harder to fight, dude. Oh my gosh. Bloodstorm just makes the fighting the dreadnoughts a joke. <laughs> and then I get I get paired with the hive guard and I'm like I'm like, oh no. Here, hold on. I'm gonna break your shield first. Hold on, boy. Okay. Oh, okay. What am I what am I afraid of? He's just shooting at the ground for like no reason whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's doing his stomp attack. Is that gonna kill Steve? Uh, nope. It just did a lot of damage to him though. Anyways. Aw, poor boy. <laughs> uh, that was a tough one. Shut up, Gunner. Bad manners. <laughs> BM. I feel bad for the boy, but at the same time, it's like, man. <laughs> You're screaming when you shouldn't have been screaming. You were shooting literally at the ground for like no reason. Like what the hell? Oh, hi. All right, hello. Ah. This might just be a room full of a bunch of the the pocket blooms. Oh, there's a detonator. Huh. <laughs> well, do I have bad news for that detonator? Hello, detonator. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, uh, what a joke. You you get spawned in thinking that you're gonna kill me, and then turns out you're dying. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I haven't been uploading a lot, by the way, guys. I. Uh, in a previous video, I said I wanted to replay Bloodborne so bad. Well, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> I've just been replaying Bloodborne. Oh, uh, man. When I'm playing Bloodborne, I started with one of the DLC weapons. I'm using the Beast Cutter, for anyone that's wondering. I'll, I'll have some gameplay footage of that. But, anyways. So, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> oh, Steve? Steve? Steve's right here. No, he's not! Oh, God. Steve's right here. No! No, he's not! I will probably get down right here. Uh. Aha! No, I'm not! <laughs> Die, Warden. Die! Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Finally exploded. <laughs> you. There you go. Alrighty. Anyways, though. Um. Yeah, I, that's that's basically what I've been doing. Now I've just been replaying with the Beast Cutter. I've made it all the way to Murgo's Wet Nurse, so that's kind of where I left it off. I was like, I was like, I need to, I need to stop playing, and I need to, <laughs> I need to actually make videos. <laughs> but yeah, it, it just feels nice to take a break every once in a while, though. So sorry for not daily uploading. <laughs> oh, twins! All right, twins. <laughs> nope. 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 Stop that. S cease this perilousness. Arbalisk. Arbalisk, where are you? Where are you? Ah! I think Arbalisk accidentally spawned it in the off cave. Would you stop? Would you stop acting like Lacerator in a second phase? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, well, I think they're going to go and heal. Ah, uh, yeah. I was like, not unless I can deal some damage to Arbalest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You did a good job. <laughs> okay, now they're gonna go heal. Alright. 
I shall do the same thing. Second phase time. Oh! Alright. Where's last herbalist? Oh! Ah, I took that right to the face. Arbalist, if you're just gonna sit there the whole time, I'm just gonna shoot at you the whole time. <laughs> Get out of here. Nerd. <laughs> you're just gonna sit on the roof the whole time? No. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, buddy. Well, not as bad as usual. <laughs> I honestly wish Evo Knights would be a, uh, a mutator. Just like every now and then there's just like an Evo Knight swarm. You have to deal with them with like pickaxes. With your pickaxes. That'd actually be really interesting. Nice. Bop. <laughs> I love how everything just dies around me. And. Created abundance. Nice. Come on. Get up. No. 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 Come on. No. Uh. Oh. Well. No, Steve. Steve was kind of on his last legs though, I saw him. He didn't have any any armor on him. Oop. That wow, was my bad. <laughs> I was moving my mouse and I threw that grenade onto Molly. Parkinstone. <laughs> Alright, how'd I do? 92. <laughs> Only one down, not too bad. Alrighty. Well, if, even if lead spray wasn't really carrying its weight, it was still really fun to take this build anyways. Blood Storm is always so much fun to take on, on you know, the minigun. <laughs> uh, I would recommend this build for anyone who wants to try it out. If anyone has a different build, they can comment it below. Uh, as for the lead spray, mm, I don't know. I'm still not really all too satisfied with it. Uh, maybe it would have been better if I did take the full 40 damage instead of more magazine size. I don't know. Either way, the, oh, that was also probably the problem too. The hollow point bullets. I didn't take that. That's true. It would have probably been way better if I did this. Maybe that. This build would have probably been better for the elimination, maybe. I don't know. I was kind of focusing on getting more ammo out of it. Oh, well. Anyways, though. <laughs> hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, and did, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Rock and stone, my ass.